Welcome to Stony Brook Finance Lab channel. Welcome to Stony Finance Lab YouTube channel. My name is Yong Chen. Have you ever think about buying insurance for your car or your family? Today we are going to talk about what kind of insurance you might need during your lifetime. What is insurance? Insurance is a contract in which an insurer indemnifies another against losses from specific contingents. It is a way of managing risk, acting as a financial safety net. When the insurer purchases insurance, they transfer the cost of potential loss to insurance company in exchange for a fee, known as premium. In detail, the premium is the price of the policy, usually the monthly cost. Premium is determined by the insured based on the insurer's risk profile. The policy limit is the maximum amount that an insurer will pay under a policy for covered rules. Deductible in an insurance plan would be the specific amount that the policyholder must pay out of pocket before the insurer pays the claim. There are four types of forms of insurance one might need during the lifetime. They are life insurance, health insurance, which included medical insurance, dental insurance, and vision insurance, automobile insurance, and property casualty insurance. Life insurance can provide the insurance family if they unexpectedly died. This would be especially important if the family depended on the insurer's salary. There are two basic uses of life insurance plans. One is peer protections. This will secure policyholders' family future by providing a lump sum amount. The second use is a financial tool helping the insurance plan for long-term goals like purchasing a home and funding education while offering the benefits of life cover. There are three basic types of life insurance. Traditional whole life insurance provides the insurance coverage for the entire life. It never runs out. Policy also include an investment component that accumulates a cash value that policyholder can withdraw or borrow against when they need funds. Universal life is very similar to traditional whole life, but whole life offers more consistency, fixed premiums, and guaranteed cash value accumulation. Term life covers the contract holder for a set amount of time. Health insurance ensures members do not get stuck with a massive medical bills from having an accident or developing a chronic disease. Some coverages offered are hospitalization, pre and post hospitalization, ambulance, room rent, critical illness, and maternity. People who have chronic health issues or need attention should look for policies with lower deductibles. Although the premium is higher than a comparable policy with a higher deductible, it will be less expensive to pay for medical care throughout the year. Almost all states require drivers to have auto insurance. Auto insurance will cover the expense and help guard the insured against any lit litigations that might result from an accident. It can also protect the vehicle against thief, vandalisms, or a natural disaster. Premium usually determined by the cover provided, age, driving record, and home location. Someone living in the urban area would have a higher premium than someone in the country who has similar coverage, age, and driving record. Property insurance provides coverage for property owners or renters. It provides protections against risks to property such as fire, thief, and some weather damage. This includes both property protection or liability coverage. The most common form is homeowner insurance, protects houses and possessions against damage caused by fire, smoke, and the impact of snow. All mortgage companies require borrowers to have insurance coverage for the full or fair value of the property. Usually, it won't take a loan or finance without insurance proof. There are three types of property insurance coverage. One is replacement cost. It covers the cost of repairing or replacing property at the same value. The coverage would be based on the replacement cost value rather than the cash values of items. Second types of actual cash values. This 
coverage pays the owner or renter the replacement cost minus depreciation. For example, if the destroyed house is 20 years old, the insurer will get the value of a 20 years old item, not a new one. The third type is extended replacement cost, which pay more than the coverage limit if the cost for construction have gone up. These are the four most common types of insurance someone will have to come across in their lifetime. Tips. Always check with the employer if they provide any of these insurance. Employee coverage is often, often the most best option. For other insurance needs, compare quotes from multiple providers. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel.